Good morning. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2 says, I am writing to God's church in Corinth, to you who have been called by God to be his own holy people. He made you holy by means of Christ Jesus, just as he did for all people everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Holy. When used to describe God, it means exalted or worthy of complete devotion as one perfect in goodness and righteousness. So, like, God is holy. He is worthy of complete devotion as the one who is perfect in every way. So when we use the word holy in relation to God, that's what it means. It means that he is worthy of complete devotion as one who is perfect. Holy, when used to describe things or people, well, it means something different. It means devoted entirely to God or to the work of God devoted entirely to God or to the work of God. The altar in the temple is holy. It's devoted entirely to the work of God. It's not supposed to be used for anything else. The priests are holy unto the Lord. They are devoted to the work of God. They are devoted wholly to God. They're set apart for Him. You know, as Paul opens the first letter to the uh, Corinth Church, he says to them, you who have been called by God to be his own holy people, and he made you holy by means of Christ Jesus. Now, it almost seems a little backward that Paul spends the next 16 chapters confronting sin and error and division within this holy congregation. If they're so holy, why is he having to confront so much sin and error inside that church in Corinth? Shouldn't all those things be taken care of if they're holy? But that's actually the point. They are not holy because they are so good. They are not holy because of how they have acted. They are holy because Jesus made them so. They are set apart and dedicated for the work of God because of what Christ did in them. Because they have been made holy by Jesus, they need to start acting that way. They need to start being righteous. Their righteousness doesn't make them holy. Christ's righteousness, righteousness makes them holy. And since they are holy, they need to get rid of these things, this sin, which is complicating the relationship. But you know the verse doesn't end there. It says, He made you, the Corinthians, holy, just as he did for all people everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's you. That's me. Holy. Set apart for the work of God. Holy. By the work of Christ in me. Now, I need to start acting. God, you have made us holy. We didn't make ourselves holy. We can't make ourselves right by our actions. We can't make ourselves perfect and fully dedicated to your use by what we do. It can only be accomplished by what you've done. We are holy because Christ is in us and has transformed our hearts. 
because of his righteousness in us. And now that you have placed your righteousness over us, help us to start living and acting as if we are holy. Because of what you've done, help us to start acting like it. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.